Duncan. Duncan was brought in as a spare engine after Peter Sam's accident with the slate trucks at the quarry. He was bouncy, rude, and bad-tempered, all of the ingredients required for a disaster. His tendency to rock and roll caused him to have an accident in one of the tunnels on the Scarlowy Railway when he first arrived. Duncan complained that the tunnel wasn't big enough, but the driver protested that it was Duncan's own fault for being so boisterous. His behavior improved very little afterward, and he came off the rails again on a rough patch, which Rusty had warned him about, but Duncan dismissed because he didn't need smelly diesels telling him what to do. Duncan learned sense for a while and began to respect Rusty, but as soon as the pressure became too much again, Duncan slipped back to his old ways. Once he felt so overworked that he took a defiant stand against his driver, fireman, and passengers when he stopped right in the middle of the viaduct and refused to move. Scarlowy had to move him and haul his train down the line again, where the passengers complained fiercely to the crew. Scarlowy then told Duncan about Reneas and how he saved the railway, reminding him firmly that the passengers were very important and they were vital to the survival of the line. Duncan was full of, a, of admiration and promised to be a better engine again. But Duncan will be Duncan, and he will play up, and he'll suffer the consequences of it. When he teased Peter Sam for losing his trucks on a hill, the driver and fireman played a trick on Duncan, making him think the, that the old iron bridge crossing the swamps was haunted. After rest, he told him a spooky story. At first, Duncan didn't believe it. But when he saw some strange things on the tracks ahead of him and heard a loud splash below, he didn't know what to think. Sometimes he'll land in trouble of his own making. Like the time he got his coupling caught on some trucks going up the incline and flew backwards into the mud. Or the time he lost his whistle in the field and had to carry on with the headmaster using his pipe organ as a temporary replacement. Which was colorful. <laughs> his trickery and deceit can also cause trouble for engines like the time he told Thomas of a shortcut to get back to the wharf which meant going over the rolling river bridge the old bridge was dangerous and nearly collapsed under Thomas underneath Thomas when he tried to cross it fortunately he backed off just in time Duncan usually takes the thin controller's children on the tour of the railway for their birthday each year. But one year, he decided to give them a trip in a hot air balloon instead, which Duncan did everything he could to get rid of until it floated away and struck the thin controller's weather vane, ripping the material. However, Duncan was good enough to offer his, pla offer his, offer his flag to let the balloon repairman mend it and let the children get their balloon right after all. Despite his faults, Duncan can be quite resourceful at times. When the scouts camping near the railway had run out of juice and everyone was getting thirsty, Duncan and his crew went to the rest for refreshment lady at the station by the lake to fetch them some drinks, bringing them back up bringing them back up on his passenger train. When Duncan became lost in a coal mine in the mountains, he pushed his way along the mine and found his way out, along with some coal trucks which had been lying down there out of sight and forgotten about. In light of his good behavior, he was sent, he was been sent to represent Sodor on the Tallinn Railway and has been a special guest there since 2001.